Hi there, my name is Wendy with loveandstampin.com. Welcome to World Card Making Day. I am so excited that today is World Card Making Day. It is October 2nd, 2021, and I am going to spend the day card making. I have lots of different plans for today. I'm gonna to do a special YouTube Live, um, so make sure to watch for that. I am also going to be going live with my team and my VIP customer Facebook group and doing some special things as well. So I hope you're here for it all. If you're not already on the Lovely Stampers community group, you can do that by purchasing the Stampin' Up! Starter Kit. It is $99 plus tax, but you get to choose $125 in product to put in the kit. As soon as you do that, then we will send you an email that has a link to join our Lovely Stampers Facebook community, which is where I do a lot of my special fun stuff that, that they get access to. They also get free access to my new virtual online card class that I'm doing every single month. So they get that completely free. That's a $50 value and they get it for free. So if you're interested in purchasing the starter kit, but you have some hesitations, please let me know um, because a lot of times the things that people are a little bit anxious about like, oh, does that mean I'm a big demonstrator where I have to do all these things? No, there's a lot of people that just purchase the starter kit to get a discount on their products or to just hang out with our community for a while and then they maybe end up going back to being a customer of mine. There's no Stampin' Up! Police that's gonna show up and make you uh, stay a Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, but when you purchase the starter kit, it opens a world of opportunity to you that you will never regret having. I can promise you that. Okay, so World Card Making Day. We are going to make a beautiful card today. This is my color splash card. So basically I try to use specific colors and then I share those colors with you so that you can create something using those colors. In my VIP group, we actually do a challenge there. This is open to anybody who's a customer of mine who places an order with me. They get to be part of my special VIP group. And in the VIP group, we do um, a fun challenge where if you make a card and share it using the colors or close to the colors that I have um, used in the color splash, then you're entered to win a prize. And we have two winners every week. So um, that's a fun thing to do if you are one of my customers. I also have lots of generous rewards for my customers, um, things like the amazing online card class that you get for free that has lots of content, six cards. This month in particular, in October only, you get to do two classes for free. There's a sweet stockings add-on class. So that's also in addition to it. So if you're not my customer and you want to purchase this, you can purchase it for $50. There's a link below the video and you can purchase it for $50. But if you want to place a $50 Stampin' Up! order and use the host code, then you get it all for free. That's um, just my gift to you for placing an order with me. Okay, so that being said, let's get busy making a card. All right, we're going to get started with the Daisy Garden stamp set and we're using the Stamparatus. I find that using the Stamparatus for large background images like this is the very best way to get a nice clean image that is going to be evenly stamped. Um, you saw there I put a little dot of adhesive on the back of this piece of cardstock and then I kept tapping it with my finger and that was just so it wouldn't be super, super sticky. Another trick I have for you is to throw your stamp set underneath the panel of your open stamparatus. So this just helps a lot keeping everything inking very evenly. And then the beauty of the stamparatus is you can just keep lifting it up and back down and you just get these beautiful, perfect stamped images. Um, you can see here, I did scoot my Stamparatus, or uh, excuse me, my cardstock away from the edge of the Stamparatus, and that is because you'll notice on the right side of that stamp when the door is closed, it kind of sticks out. So I felt like this was the easiest way to get this stamped. Um, now, 
I wanted to show you how I am going to spotlight stamp this, mask this, the whole nine yards. So I zoomed in a little bit here and basically I'm going to take post-it note tape and I'm going to go along and decide where I want my color to be and where I want my color not to be. So I kind of play with this a little bit, moving it around different ways, trying to make a decision. But basically, I wanted that one big flower at the top to have color on it. So I just kind of maneuvered things around until there was a focal point area to color. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with some ink and do some ink blending for my background. Now you could do two things here. You could simply color the background with Stampin' Blends, or you can do ink blending as I'm going to do. I prefer to do the ink blending because I just feel like it conserves your marker a little bit. So we're gonna use, um, I'm pretty sure this is Misty Moonlight. <laughs> Full disclosure, it's been a while since I recorded this video. That happens. Um, you'll know at the end, because this is a color splash, and now I'm like going blank. Uh, no, it's Pacific Point. Sorry, guys. Pacific Point. Uh, I had to look at look at the card and remind myself what color it was. So <clears throat> anyway, you can see I'm not going super heavy over the flowers and the leaves, just very light. This essentially is going to be a very stark contrast when I pull the masks away. But basically, I just want there to be an edge of color on each side. So now I'm gonna do my coloring. And I decided to use Old Olive, Calypso Coral, and Daffodil Delight. So those are the colors that are the color splash this week. And if you want to participate in the color splash challenge and be entered to win a prize, um, you would need to be in my VIP group. And in order to be in my VIP group, you have to be a customer. So if you place an order with me, then you will be um, sent an email and invited to that group. Okay, World Card Making Day and other things. We're going to have some chit chat. So today I will be going live at 12.30 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time to do some card making and hang out because it is World Card Making Day and we should celebrate that. And, um, you know, one of the greatest things about this hobby is it is a dual purpose hobby. It's a selfish, selfless hobby. <laughs> it brings joy to me, but it also brings joy to the people that receive the things that I make. So, um, you know, if I'm sending a card or if I'm making a little goodie for somebody, no matter what it is, I know that it's going to make somebody smile that receives the gift that I am sending. Now, that being said, um, I have obviously turned my hobby into a business. And so what a joy it is that I get to do what I love and earn an income doing it. And I think that that is an incredibly unusual thing these days. And so I recognize how blessed I am that that is what I get to do. So Anyway, I have to celebrate World Card Making Day because it gives me all the feels and I'm hoping you're celebrating by either watching every card video you could possibly get your hands on or your, um, if you're not doing that, hopefully you are making cards yourself. Um, either way, I, you know, do something crafty today. You got to. You just got to. So... Uh, let's see what's happening. What's going on as I sit here in color? We should just have some chit chat. Volleyball. Volleyball season has come to a close. My daughter played volleyball for the first time this year and uh, with her school and it was nothing short of an absolute mess. Um, <laughs> just chaos. The God bless the organizers, the people who tried to coach, the people who tried to put it all together and the whole thing. They tried their best. You know, it's just, we're just living in a weird world right now. And they tried so hard to make everybody accommodated 
and and make it so that it could work. So basically, the girls only had a couple of weeks of practice before they started playing games, and you could really tell that they came along during the games. But getting my kid to the practices, to the games, nearly killed me, y'all. I'm not going to lie. And I, you know, I'm a sport mom. I don't mind the sports. I, I enjoy them. But I think it was the disorganization of it. And like, we would get messages that were like, okay, tomorrow you need to be here. Oh, by the way, in two days, we're going to do a makeup game. It was chaos. Um, and I'm just such a planner that it really, it was really rough. But we're past it. She enjoyed it. She found a new love. Uh, she really loves it. And now she really wants to try out for it in high school. Um, and what else is happening? Um, tonight, as I am voiceovering this video for you, which is happening on Friday evening prior to me releasing it Saturday morning, um, I currently have four teenage girls in my house watching TV and doing what teenage girls do, giggling and talking and all the things. Um, it is such a weird thing for me. Like, it's so weird. Having a kid up to this point has seemed like normal, but now it seems weird. Like, I'm, I'm a mom of a teenager? What? When did that happen? It's like, I feel like I blinked and now I got this teenage kid and like these half grown people in my house hanging out and they don't need me and I ordered pizza and basically I haven't seen them since. So FYI, on camera here, that yellow is looking awfully lot like the old olive. It's not. When you look at the card in person, you can definitely tell the difference between the yellow and the blue. That is something else that's happening is I'm working on um, getting my new video equipment. So that's been exciting. There's lots happening in the old office of Wendy. So talking about the new things that are happening, um, some of you have already purchased or placed an order to get my online card class, you guys. I am telling you, I have dumped my heart and soul into this class. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? Oh, I love it. Um, it has got a ton of content. So if you're looking for... I want to be able to sit and watch a whole bunch of videos. It has 14 videos. There's two classes. One is with Festive and Bright Bundle and Joyful Life. The other one is the Sweet Stockings, and it's all 3D projects. And then there's an At Home with Wendy video, and then a Good Deeds Together video, and then I added a video of my team uh, hang out. We hung out and made a card together and we used the festive and bright bundle. So I went ahead and included that video as well, which was in a private Facebook group. So there's just lots of content for you to watch. And there's printable PDFs of both the classes. It gives you access to my VIP group. It gives you access to a special giveaway that I'm going to be doing when the class closes. So there's a link below the video. If you want to purchase it for $50, you can. If you, if you want to place an order with me for $50, excuse me, for $50 using the host code for the class, you can do that as well, and then you get the class for free. You'll get an email thanking you for your order, and then it will also have a coupon code so that you can go to my website create an account and download the class. And the cool thing is I've been working with my web developer so that all the classes, downloads, anything you get from me that you purchase in my online store at loveandstampin.com, that's separate from Stampin' Up! store. I'm talking about my own personal website. You're going to be able to log in and have access to all of those things forever and ever. Amen. So here's my card. We're going to branch out now into the sentiment. I die cut the layering hugs word hugs in basic black twice and then I'm layering them up together, gluing them together, putting them on the front of the card and then we're going to stamp a sentiment and put it over that. 
but this is basically the card. So you can see how beautiful this is. It's blocked off the color on the edges and it's giving you this very geometric shape and you can imagine you could do this all over the card. So you could block off different areas. You had just a bunch of geometric shapes that were colored in. Um, you can do this in a solid strip versus like I did it in a triangle. You could do it in a, in a solid strip. Um, there's a million ways you could, you know, use this technique. Um, so here's those hugs layers and we're going to glue these together and add them to the card. So as far as other stuff happening, uh, here at home, we have been just in the mode of like switching to fall. I put out a few fall decorations. Um, it's still pretty dang hot here in California. It's 90 degrees today, uh, October 1st, and it's 90 degrees. So, you know, it just, I'm having a hard time make, feeling fallish because, well, we've, of course, we've got the morning time, which, you know, it's staying dark to like 6.45 in the morning here, um, which makes it really hard for me to get out of bed and function, I'm just gonna tell you, And then, in the evenings, it's cooling off significantly, but daytime's still pretty toasty. So I love it. I'm gonna, you know, enjoy that sunshine and that warm weather every minute I can, because when it's gone, it's gone. So in the area of California I live in, we get all four seasons. So there's no, it's not like Southern California. I live in Northern California. So it's not like Southern California where it just pretty much stays warm all year long. It's not like that here. Um, and then I'm very excited to announce and share that my garden is growing. I am so excited. I think I shared with you guys in a previous video, I planted romaine lettuce, butter lettuce, radishes, Swiss chard, broccoli, and cauliflower. The butter lettuce, romaine lettuce, and Swiss chard has all sprouted. I do not see a single sprout from the radishes, broccoli, or cauliflower. I may have to replant those. Because, um, again, remember I just said 90 degrees. So it may be too hot for them. I don't know. I'm not sure. So we'll see how that goes. If you don't already and you are a gardener or you want to garden or you're curious about gardening, you should definitely follow Roots and Refuge on YouTube. They are amazing. I'll link to them below the video. I just love them. First of all, I could sit and listen to Jess talk all day. She's got a sweet Southern accent and she's just got a calming presence about her. Like, you know, some people just have that. She's just a very down to earth, calming presence kind of person. And she knows everything there is to know about gardening for vegetables and stuff. So I'm all in. I am all in. We are going to be redoing our garden in the spring because we have realized our Bermuda grass is making it next to impossible for us to have a garden and keep it maintained. So we're going to build garden beds that are like raised up off the ground so they'll be on stilts um, so that we can just put our soil in there and we don't have to worry about Bermuda grass encroaching. Okay, so this card's almost done. Um, I'm just going to add my little stamped sentiment piece, which then I will adhere right over the top of the hugs uh, letters. I really, really love how this card came out. It's very fall, it's very warm, and it's, to me, it's a great card for sending hugs or thinking of somebody. I took the sending you sentiment out of the stamp set, set it on my desk, went to use it in this part, that's why this is taking me so long, and I could not find it. Literally could not find it anywhere. So I ended up doing a totally different sentiment <laughs> because it's gotta, st I still haven't found it, you guys. It's gotta be in my office somewhere. I'm telling you, I had it in my hand, the little stamp. It wasn't on a block yet. I had it in my hand. I set it down. I was going to get a block, and then it was gone. 
like seriously that quick. If it fell on the ground, there's a solid chance one of the dogs like ate it or ran away with it. So we'll see. I'll let you know if I ever find it again. Um, but yeah, it's still nowhere to be found. It's gone forever, I'm sure. Um, and I even took a little post-it note and wrote myself a note that said missing sending you sentiment and put it in the stamp set because if I ever go to sell this stamp set or reuse it or whatever, I need to know. Otherwise, I'll make myself crazy like, why isn't this in here? And I'll have totally forget this moment. So now I'm going to use my little champagne rhinestones and just add a few of these throughout the card here just for a little dazzle. Got to have a little bit of dizzle dazzlies, right? Just have to. Bling. And that's going to wrap up the card. I hope you have an amazing world card making day. I hope you make lots of cards. I hope you hang out with me. I'm going to be hanging out with my lovely stampers at 9 a.m. Then I'm going to hang out with you at 12.30 p.m. on YouTube live. And then 4, 4 p.m. I'm going to hang out with my lovely stampers again. And somewhere in there I'm going to be hanging out with my VIP group. So, Hopefully you'll be able to catch me at some one of or all of those places. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Thank you so much for hanging out. Sorry my dogs are being noisy. Shop with me at shoploveandstanton.com and I'll catch you in the next video.